India has an extensive coastline of around 8,000 kilometers and almost 30% of its population lives within 10 kilometers of the coast. Coastal communities regularly face multiple challenges with the sea affecting their survival. They are prone to the fury of ocean, tsunamis, cyclones, storm surges which can cause great destruction and loss of life. This was particularly evident during the Indian Ocean Tsunami of 26th December 2004, one of the world's most deadly natural disasters that caused around 2,30,000 lives in 14 countries in the Indian Ocean region. Tsunamis are very rare events, but the devastation that can be caused by tsunamis are much more than any other natural calamities. Today we have a system which can detect the earthquakes wherever they occur within a few minutes. Driven by this calamity and recognizing the imperative to set up an effective warning system, the Ministry of Earth Sciences, Government of India, established the Indian Tsunami Early Warning System at the Indian National Center for Ocean Information Services or ENCOIS, Hyderabad and made operational in 2007. The project was an integrated effort of different organizations under Ministry of Earth Sciences along with the Department of Space, the Department of Science and Technology, the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research and the Ministry of Home Affairs. The Tsunami Early Warning Center has standard operating procedure in place uh, to detect this uh, earthquake location magnitude and subsequently issues the bulletins at various stages. The Indian Tsunami Early Warning System comprises of the state-of-the-art 24-7 operational warning center with a real-time observing network of seismic stations, tsunami buoys and tide gauges to detect tsunami-genic earthquakes and monitor sea level changes, backed up by a large database of pre-run model scenarios robust standard operating procedure and up-to-date communication systems to generate and disseminate timely bulletins. It is recognized as one of the best tsunami early warning system in the world. It detects tsunami-genic earthquakes within 10 minutes of its occurrence and sends advisories to concerned authorities through various communication channels such as email, fax, SMS, GTS and the web. Invoice has established the tsunami warning system after the famous 2004 tsunami and this is one of the best uh, tsunami warning system in the world. Considering its tremendous developments, the Intergovernmental Oceanographic Commission of UNESCO designated Indian Tsunami Early Warning Center as a Tsunami Service Provider or TSP to provide tsunami advisories to 25 countries in the Indian Ocean region. The Indian Ocean Tsunami caught us unprepared and there was no warning. We now have a fully functional Indian Ocean Tsunami warning system. Along with its Australian and Indonesian counterparts, the Indian National Center for Ocean Information Services is mandated to issue regional tsunami bulletins. As a continual improvement of the warning system, ENCOIS has established GNSS and strong motion accelerometers in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. ENCOIS is also developing a visualization and analysis system for 2D and 3D geospatial data 3D VAS, to assess coastal vulnerability due to oceanic hazards. Tsunamis cannot be prevented, but their impact can be mitigated through community and emergency preparedness, timely warnings and public education. INCOIS provides training to its stakeholders and conducts tsunami mock drills in collaboration with Ministry of Home Affairs and NDMA to improve awareness and preparedness among public and administrative agencies to make them tsunami ready. Tofana Samachar and Telega, is Sonami Samachar and Telega and Tagan Astapero. In case of Munde, Maku, Samachar and Telejas Naro. 
We cannot control nature's fury, but definitely we can mitigate the disaster risk by providing early warnings. This center's quest is to directly apply scientific advancement to benefit society and save lives.